And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is DJ Petita. He is ranked 23rd in his gold division with a record of 109 wins and 85 losses and a total of 1,314 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the south-ish up against DJ Petita. He is the Blue Terran in the west. He has noticed my icon and... He's only about the third or fourth person to go, Hey man, BlizzCon, or hey, that's a cool icon, where'd you get it? Um, actually, one of the games that I played, uh, it was a 2v2, both me and my partner had the Murloc Marine as our Archon. That is what it's called, uh, the Murloc Marine. And they they both pretty much laughed at us, <laughs> like, ah, freaking nerds, went to BlizzCon. Okay, BlizzCon was awesome, number one. And I recommend it to anybody that plays the game. And number two, you know, I live here, man. <laughs> I went to BlizzCon after work. That's how it worked, man. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, still have a smile thinking about it. Didn't get to meet as many people as I would have liked, but I did get to watch the pros play, and that's always fun. And the, I don't know if I mentioned it, the map is Metalopolis. And it's uh, one of, not one of my favorite maps because of the huge choke on the expansion. I've never been a fan of huge chokes on the expansion. I like small chokes. Large chokes tend to, to suffocate me. He is going for a rather fast, rather fast barracks here in his second one right off the bat. I do go into the base and I am going to notice all this. Once again, queuing up a storm. He went for the barracks a little bit faster than I normally do. I think that my build is a little more economic. Economical. Whatever the word is for better at economy. I did alright in economy. Refinery is just now going up. After the first barracks is done and the marine is almost out. Uh, my first bar my first gas is up and fully running already getting an orbital command it is a little bit late but not too much to be worried about here because uh, his s because his income is pretty low still he's still behind even though i have been morphing an orbital command in for some while we both lost one scv we lost the scout to a marine and so now that that marine, that scout is gone i'm getting the second barracks i don't want him to normally see that no add-ons onto the barracks yet not a, a very interesting strategy i think because i can't say that i've seen it of course i'm sure one of you will point to one of my previous matches where somebody did the exact same thing but i don't remember it right now and he's coming around with just two marines not sure exactly what he's doing. There we go. Add-on reactor. So it looks like he's going to be sticking with the Marines. Puts two of them at the watchtower. Another two maybe going around to scout. And once again, keep track of the landscape, topography, geography. All of that is important, but right now it's just a landscape is what I'm going to call it. This ridge is very important. If he runs, if he doesn't do a good job and get behind this Mensk statue, he will be under attack by these marines here. Notice that he's not doing that. He actually has all his marines out. I don't know what they're doing there. They're not really going to do much to help him there. Third barracks is on the way. Second, or first barracks technically got attack lab on it. And he is getting, well, just marines right now, but I am getting marines and marauders getting the stim pack should be getting the concussive shells but i think i'm i i, I was thinking that i was a little too low on it no there it goes just a little behind and i do have quite a large substantial ball whatever you want to call it right there to fend off anything that he has sent my way and he's going for a second refinery so are we going to be seeing a quick tech I'm not getting my refinery. I'm struggling for minerals right now. But I should have quite a substantial lead in the army. I do, thanks to those marauders. 
He is going for... Oh, uh, looks like he's going to be going for a little bit of a push How He hates Mensk, apparently. And therefore, Mensk must fall. Oh... Uh, I don't know, do you... Do you have to attack Mensk statue? I thought that, like, if you stopped, it just started... Like, the AI just started attacking it. It's kind of weird how that happens. Uh, because I've seen so many people attack those statues. And kind of like, did, does everybody hate them? I never attack them, do I? I don't know. It's, it's only on this map, though. On Metalopolis. Here, he went for my expansion. I don't go for a fast expansion on this map because it is so hard to hold. Meanwhile, oh, uh, here we go. Uh, let me back that up so you guys can see it. Because I definitely heard it. So we got reinforcements coming. Three marines. And I've got quite, like I said, a, quite a little ball here. Get the marauder to slow them down. And then everything else to wipe them out. But he did smarten up just a little bit. Send things behind the Minsk statue. I, I wasn't sure if those were scouts or not. Still have my first marine out guarding the ramp. And in comes everybody. Able to take them out. Able to hold them off. Not even bothering stimming up. Did I? Nah. Neither one of us stimmed up it looks like. And I am going for a counter here. I, I don't think that this is a good time to go for it. I do have quite a bit lead in the army count, but he has got quite a secure little thing going on here, and siege tanks are on the way. Another barracks going up, so he's going for four racks here. I am sticking with the three racks and not producing any marines uh, there. But in terms of the units lost, I have quite a substantial lead. He's only killed three of my units, one of them being an SCV. So then he killed two Marines, is what I can see. And here I run right past the Mink statue. I don't hate it as much as he does, apparently. Going around the long way because I don't want to be attacked by these guys up here. But there's nobody there. So I go for a side attack here. Get the stim pack off a little bit earlier than he does. And I'm able to finish off a quite a substantial chunk of his army. And I'm going for the buildings here. Once again, I shouldn't be going for the buildings. I should be moving into his base, start getting damage done on these SCVs. But I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm focusing on what he produces. And he is producing quite a bit. But I am still going to keep a lead here in the units lost and he's down to just one marauder it looks like two well yeah he was down to just one marauder for a second there two marines just popping out he is able to fend it off but for how long because i have quite a substantial army here still have a huge lead in the army loss count still not going for an expansion it looks like uh he is not i am there we go so we thought about it about the same time. He got it off earlier. I drop a scan into his base to find out what kind of army he's got. I see the the, the factory. He, uh, he already showed me the siege tanks, though. I'm seeing not much going on, but that's because the, the army is out front. I did not catch that, though. Continuing to, to pump out SCVs at my main base, Mostly because I want to transfer them eventually. And he drops a scan right on the army. I should have known from that scan where he was keeping his army. Which was you know, pretty much here and here. So he sees my army. I feel like I've got to go for an attack here. He is producing two marines, a marauder, and a siege tank. You know, he's, he's trying to turtle up here. With uh, units as much as he can. He's got a siege tank up. And in siege mode. I do not have that. I have starports. Hidden starports around the back. And here he's going for an attack. Or I'm going for an attack. And he's pretty much 
take him when he can. And he's got no upgrades on these guys. And he goes, what the fuck? And I'm kind of like, what? But he never answers me. So I don't know what that was about. I uh, don't know if he was thinking, how the hell did you produce that many units? How would you get to that corner without me seeing you? I, I don't know what his complaint was, really. But I am continuing to pump out Marines Marauders. And now I should be getting medevacs soon. I am falling apart in my macro. I can only hold on to it for so long. I apologize. It's going to take me a while. I, I do improve, but I, do, I improve slowly. It's, that's just the way it's going to work. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm continuing to not produce now, apparently. There we go. Marines and Marauders. And I definitely need more barracks. That is that is definitely what I need. More barracks. I need more... Uh, even if they can only produce marines, because I don't have enough gas to really support anything else. I'm getting more gas, but right now I, I could definitely use more. So game marines and medevacs. There we go. Two more barracks up. They are late. And here I'm going for... A medevac drop because I know that he's got this secured with those siege tanks. I don't want to engage that army up front if I don't have to. So in comes the medevacs. Never underestimate their power. Even though they don't attack, they are well worth the 100-100 investment. These guys, of course, still 1-1. One, one. Just now getting the combat shield. It is late. As usual, I, I, I do forget about that if I go for a push before I usually research that. And here, once again, I go for the buildings. I can't tell you exactly why I go for the buildings. It's just because they're there, I guess. And I'm kind of waiting for his army to show up. But I'm able to take out the starport. He did manage to cancel. I think it was a medevac that he was training out of there. Or... And so I just pick up and run off. There's there's no reason for me to engage that. And he did stim up, so all these medevacs are wasting energy now. One refinery did go down, took out the starport, did not take out the engineering bay though. So I drop everything off here. Medevac's doing a good job of healing up. This guy couldn't drop the last marauder. Once again, marauders are fat. Going for the expansion here. It's almost fully saturated. Might even be oversaturated. No, that's about right. 20. 20 is good. Maybe 21 or 22. And here he's going for a push. Oh, he's got a giant army. Do I have anything to fight it off? Not really. I mean, I have these guys, but these guys aren't going to cut it. Medevac's kind of doing their own thing, I guess. They always like to run ahead first. And then, oh, he knows better than this. I'm able to get a lot of damage done on these guys. Even taking out, looks like, two tanks before he's even able to get inside my base and he did notice that I was going for a third ex third base here a second expansion but I moved down because I knew that he was going to be going for my orbital command down here but those siege tanks scared me off long enough for me to want to regroup and then fly back down I am supply locked here the 